Hi, my name is Emil and welcome to my new channel. I run an online store selling our own underwear brand called Undy. Undy was founded only two years ago in Denmark and today together with a small group of employees we are shipping out to more than 50 different countries. This video here is all about showing how a typical and realistic day is for a young CEO running an actual store and not just a random dropshipping store. This means I'm actually going to show you what it looks like to run an e-commerce store and being 100% authentic about it. Now, before we dive into it, please consider simply to leave a like on the video for the YouTube algorithm to do its work. This channel here is brand new and any likes or comments is paid back with virtual high fives. All right. I usually get up around 6 or 7 a.m. The night before, I always make sure to prepare my gym clothes and leave it on the floor outside my bedroom door. This way, I've made it easy just to put it on in the morning and therefore make it less likely to skip the workout. Even though I promised you to be 100% authentic, so I usually end up skipping the workout around once a week. After putting on my gym clothes, I drink a big glass of water and then I head to the office. I've got around 30 minutes of driving to my office and warehouse. During the summer and when the weather is good, I sometimes hit the bike. When I arrive at the warehouse, I've got around one hour of training before the first employees start to arrive and sometimes we even do a workout together. After the workout, I hit the showers. When we renovated our warehouse, it was important for me to include a shower so we could build the gym in the warehouse. After the shower, I make sure to get some good breakfast and a nice cup of coffee. We recently started getting food delivered every Monday morning at the warehouse. This is one of the best things I've implemented at our workplace. This means that I and the employees don't have to constantly think about how to get lunch. It's something I would highly recommend to anyone having a small team. After the breakfast, I usually check the sales from the day before and also our support ticket system. Customer service is one of the most important elements of any online store that wants to succeed besides, of course, making sure you have a good product to sell. I regularly check our average response time to our customers and always make sure we are below the global average. On average, we respond all tickets within 15 hours. After checking in with our customer service, we usually have internal meetings, which could be about stock management for both products and packaging. Managing stock has turned out to be a bit more difficult than expected. The reason could be that we have a subscription-based e-commerce store. We have more than 10,000 subscribers who have all made a selection of color and size. This means we have to keep a close eye on our stock and make sure we both have enough for existing members, but of course also for new customers. Besides our products, we have a lot of accessories we use for our packaging. This gives our customer a personal experience and presents our products in the best possible way. This also means we constantly have to make sure we are up to date with our stock for packaging and keep track of production and delivery time from our suppliers. I can tell you that we've run out of stock multiple times. So now we're having stock meetings once every week to make sure that everything is on track. At 12 midday, it's time for a quick lunch. After lunch, I start working on any type of project we might be running at a specific time. We're constantly improving and adding new features to the website. We got two developers hired to work full time on the website and are always dedicating a lot of resources for development. For example, we recently added a refer friend functionality to the website where any customer can get two pairs of underwear or five pairs of socks for free. We work quite a long time on managing the point for each customer and also pushing those points uh, into our email platform. From here, we were able to send an automation email 20 days after their first order and introducing our customers to the referral program. We spend a huge amount on advertising on Facebook ads and Google ads in order to get new customers to our online store. A referral program can help introducing new customers for fixed and low cost. Existing customers that are satisfied and happy with your products are always the most effective way to generate new customers. Projects like these take up most of my workday since these are all things that add value to the store. 
Small tiny changes can make a huge impact on your business in the long term. Real business growth comes from the compound effect of small tasks that in the end accumulate to give you the exceptional results. So never stop improving your products or your customer experience. During the day, I might also have meetings with our suppliers, checking samples for new designs and products. We spend a lot of time making sure that our yearly plan is up to date, so whenever we have any new deliveries or samples sent, we make sure to check with our plan and change it accordingly. Now, most of our suppliers have access to the same planner, and this is a great way for us to have multiple stuff going on at the same time without losing track of where we are. Just a year ago, delivery dates, sample dates, uh, they were all lost in hundreds of emails from our suppliers. So now we're keeping track of everything in a few Google Sheets. I'll leave the template down below here for our yearly planner. And I hope that you can find it as useful as we do here. By the end of the day, I like to head out to a warehouse and organize and do a bit of cleaning. I'm a big fan of keeping your workplace in order. And if you run an online store, make sure you always keep your packaging areas clean and in order. This way is easier for you to know exactly what you got left in stock. A few times every month, when all of the employees have left for the day, I set aside 30 minutes for playtime. Now personally, I'm a huge fan of Formula One, and when we reached our first million dollars in sales, I bought this simulator from Fnatic. The last two years haven't been all about increasing sales and earnings. A huge part of wanting to be an entrepreneur was also about creating a great work environment. Five out of seven days you spend all of your day working, so why not make it a place you actually want to be? I really hope that you liked today's video. Since this is a brand new channel, please consider leaving a like or a comment. Thank you so much.